welcome back to another episode of Kawaii Craft. Now, it's been quite some time since I've updated you on this series. Listen up! Something tragic has happened. Guys, one of the mods is not working, and I have spent so long trying to figure it out. At this very moment, Lena is hacking the mainframe. She's hacking the system, trying to figure out what exactly went wrong. But I have sad news. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your farts. Prepare your butts! Ah. The Slime Rancher mod is broken. It still exists in this Kawaii Craft world, but ugh, this is so frustrating. There's two versions, okay? There's one version that was created for 1.8, and then there's another version that was created for 1.12.2, uh, and that is the version I'm running off of, 1.12.2. You could basically make armor and tools out of this uh, jelly stone, and I've collected a lot of it, but I was trying to make it, and basically, you use this just like you would anything else. You would basically do a chest plate like that. From this recipe, you get a cool jelly slime rancher chest plate. And you can make tools using just like the same regular crafting methods, just like that. Well, the 1.12.2 version does not have that. Like, who knows where it is? Also, you can't feed the slimes. Who in the heck are you? you? Stay off my land, Cynthia. You stay off my property. You hear me? Look how keep a keep an eye on her. I don't trust her. She's a little sketchy. Anyways, like I was saying, not only can we not make the armor, cannot make the tools, cannot feed the slime. Remember when I caught that slime? Anyone remember that? Don't. Don't even look over here! Good. Remember when I caught that slime? Guess what? It despawned. The slimes despawn. It is tragic. This is tragic! Have you seen my slimes? I left Lil Cow in charge. You're supposed to watch them. We're gonna have to cool it on the slime stuff for just a hot minute. So Lena can like figure out how to do this or the guy gets back to me. I've messaged him and everything because I, I still really want to do it. It's not to say that the slimes aren't in the world and I can't still use them for the series. I can, but the chances of them staying there are like up in the air. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So an episode from now, we will explore with the slimes. I'm just going to use the slime spawners. We'll make a cool little slime farm and uh, name tag a bunch of the slimes and see if uh, those ones will end up staying or if they despawn. Maybe if we name tag them, they'll have a better chance at staying. But uh, you're supposed to be able to like breed the slimes and stuff with this mod pack. I, I don't know. I really thought that would be a cool part of the mod to show you guys. But in the meantime, guys, the Cristalli mod was just updated literally three days ago. And they fixed all of the bugs, all of the problems, and made improvements on this mod. In case you don't know what mod I'm talking about. So it's like the super, super pretty armor. Oop. Well, that doesn't work. I don't know what that is. But look at how cool everything is. Isn't that awesome? So we have this. We have the Cristalli. We have three of these. We need to go find an obsidian forest. They're super hard. You can only get them with a, like, either a diamond pickaxe or a diamond axe. I'm not for sure, but I just plugged it in on my nature's compass. There it is. Status. Biome. Obsidian forest. Found. So we're going to go out into the wild. We're gonna go find ourselves some obsidian trees to chippity chop chop down. Oh, do I not have armor? Really? How do I not have armor? Well, that's weird. Well, whatever. Let's take a little sleep and then let's head out to the obsidian forest to get some logs and some sticks. That way we can start making this really awesome armor. Look how pretty it is. Ah, I love it. And I want it right now. All right, my friends, let us... Oh, going the wrong direction. Let us ride off into the sunset. Obsidian forest, it calls our name. I should add, since I'm giving you such a lengthy... Ah! ah! That's... We gotta fix that. That's on Cynthia. This is like... This is where she's been sleeping. You need to take care of your land, lady. Where am I going? This way. I'll also be adding a new village member to the kawaii town. This water looks like sparkling soda. It makes me want a little sip of something carbonated. Ah, luckily, I have La Croix. Ah, crisp and refreshing. Guys, I've been super into building lately. 
Not gonna lie, I went ham in Kawaii Craft with Justani. And I've been going crazy in Crazier Craft. I've just been feeling super inspired. Crazier Craft has the Carpenter's Block. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that one. It basically has a bunch of different shapes, so you can like make really cool slants and other custom kind of thingies. Like you can just really experiment with shapes. And I, I wish they had a Carpenter's Block for 1.12.2. They don't. I would add that so quick because we had that for Kawaii Craft. I was able to make really cool sushi homes with it, but we'll have to get creative. I've already picked out the uh, villager that we are going to be placing into our town at the end of this uh, episode. And the next one, we'll probably work on that person's home. But this one's just a little bit of an exploration. Just a little bit of a, hey guys, how's it going? We're getting close. We're getting close, people. Haven't ran into any slimes. Still scooting a boot. Wow, all these mods have been updating. I wonder if Carpenter's Block has been updated. I should give it a look-see. Just in case, right? Oh, I think that's the obsidian forest. It looks really tiny though. It's not super big. It's this very small forest. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Oh, obsidian log. So, if I remember correctly, you have to use a pickaxe? This might be wrong. Let's see. Yes, it worked. Okay, 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 wait. And then we make the sticks. Boom. Let's get a regular log. And then we should be able to do this. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, that's why I need a diamond. Okay. Wait, is there a bad guy? Guys, there's a bad guy. Here one. Where is it? Look how help me. I'm scared. We're thundering about and it's scaring me. Ah! I'm just going to go back over here. Let's grab a few more of these logs before we head back home. I think I have enough. Let's set the waypoint here. Save it. And then let's head back to home. Cynthia's here. Oh, man, she's so mean. She's like, what are you doing in my little house? My name's Cynthia. La, 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 la. Trail out, lady. What's her real name? Mary? <gasps> How are you today? Don't even talk to me. I'm really rude to my neighbors. Wow, little cow is just so wild. Just does whatever it pleases all the time. Okay, diamonds. Boom. Ready for this? <laughs> we about done it. Yeah. So, we need this pickaxe in order to mine any of this other really beautiful stuff that's going to give us some of the other stuff. Let me see. Like this, or we can't mine unless we have this pickaxe. So, let's go mining a tiny bit and see what we can find. Let me check on that carpentry block. I'm gonna check on that right now. Holy crap, guys. There's this one mod called Blockery Mod 1.12.2. It's basically carpenter's block. I'm gonna download it and see if it works. Okay, let me see. What? I did a search for the carpenter's block. <laughs> that face. The carpenter's block, and they haven't updated it since 1.7. Um, but I found block craftery, which is essentially like the same thing. I think I could use it in the same way. Woo! Oh my god. Guys, this is a game changer. This makes building so incredible you have no idea it like it helps tremendously oh this is dope i love this guys this is amazing this is like christmas mod update and we have like a special builder's block this is really really great Woohoo! we can add that to baycraft too that's, yes, that's gonna be please. so good it's not the yeah. same but it's still really great oh i'm glad i checked on that okay uh let's get to mining um, guys, I've never seen a creeper like this before. We're about to see it in a second. It's right over there. I think this is a part of the new mod update. Also, I did have armor. Look, it's my cute Nyan cat armor. Cute! I just want the pretty stuff, so we're gonna have to go deeper. I want to see what this uh, creeper, creeper will look like when it explodes. Whoa! We're looking for that Crystallia! We have to go to diamond level. Once we hit diamond level, we'll be seeing more of that ore. I guess let's just, uh, we'll strip mine until we start seeing some pretty colors, which I think I just saw. Nope, nope, that's, that's the slime craft mode that doesn't even work. I'm gonna keep strip mining. I'll let you guys know when I find something. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found, not the ore we are looking for, but, um, oh! 
I don't even know what midnight ore is. Whoa, look at all the cool stuff. Oh man, that is awesome. You probably need like something really, you, I probably need a different pickaxe. I probably need the evented neum pickaxe. I have not been able to find any of this stuff. I have been like, I have been searching. I will say this is a pretty cool mod. Um, it also has a different dimension that they're working on. They're not there yet with finishing it, but like, man. The first one I see and I can't even mine it. Well, I mean, I have gotten a ton of diamonds. I'm like at 20 diamonds, so let's keep scooting along. Just wasted two. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves some swag. We got ourselves some Cristalli. Heavenly. Heck yeah. <gasps> I could make a uh, helmet if I wanted. Oh. Oh, oh. Huh? No? Do I know how to do anything with my life? Oh. 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 That's how you do it. Still, this was not the crystal I was looking for. I want some of the sweet. Oh. So we're looking for like this. That's the that's what we just found. We need this one. Even Tidnium. And then the minute or is the next one. Oh. After a grueling couple of hours, your girl has found it. Oops, that's not it. I don't know what that is. Even Tidnium. Thank you. I think we can make the pickaxe now. Oh, that's okay. Pretty easy. Just two of these guys, one of this, and then one of these on each side. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, this one. Oh, okay, okay. I don't, I was like, what? I'm working way too hard for this. Okay, yes, I did it. Yay! Everyone, success! Now, we should be able to take this pickaxe. Man, I wish there was more. Oh, it worked! Yes. Ugh. The satisfaction of finally making some progress. I've legit been mining for like way too long. Nice. Sweet. Well, we found two of the ores. Or three, technically. Which is pretty good. I mean, if you should feel pretty good about yourself, you guys. We hung in there for the long haul. Figured it out. I'm going to grab what I can and then head back home and see what kind of armor pieces we can make. But I had, had like a huge chunk of this midnight armor I want to grab. It's crazy because every single time you do it or you find a new ore, you have to make a new pickaxe and that's how you mine the next one. It's just freaking crazy. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm gonna keep mining and then I'll meet you guys back at my place. Welcome back to my place. So I built a little tiny area to kind of showcase all of the tools, all of the armor, the ore, and everything because it was kind of confusing when I was in the mine. I just want to show you guys how cool everything is. This is the Cristalli armor. As you can see, it has like that really pretty fade. Goes from like a magenta to a purple to like a light blue. Those are all the tools. Uh, that's the gem that I have to harvest in order to get it. And that's what the ore looks like. This is the midnight, which we have to have this axe. Uh, wait, no, no, no. This pickaxe in order to mine the midnight. So even Tidium, I believe that's what it's called. It's a little tough to say. Has the the purple to the pink to the, like the yellow kind of fade. That's what the ore looks like. That's what you get. That's like the gem that you get from it. But all of this stuff is so freaking pretty. And then you use this pickaxe to mine the midnight and you get like this dark purple going into like an obsidian black. I think it looks really dope and I love the armor. I think it looks so awesome. I didn't get nearly enough to um, make all of this stuff, but I will have a fun time grinding away trying to gather all of the uh, necessary supplies. Because even though I am building and creative, I am sticking to survival to gather my materials. I have enough for uh, pickaxes for everything, which is pretty good. And I wasn't able to find enough to make any armor sets, but I didn't want to finish the episode without showing you guys how cool everything could be. Might as well just like try it on, right? Do like a little, a little test, you know? Just to see what it can look like on me. Whoa! How cool do I look? 
Oh, I love that. This ore is a lot easier to find. It's like one of the easier ones to find at diamond level. So I should be able to make my armor by the time uh, we roll into next episode. But oh, I love it. It looks so good. All right, guys, that is it for today's episode of Kawaii Craft. I hope you enjoyed my adventuring and armoring up. Next episode, I'll be adding someone new into my town and hopefully working on a way to contain and keep the slimes from slipping away. We'll see. Only time will tell. If you guys want to be a part of Kawaii Craft, make sure you leave a comment with your name, the profession you want to be, what are some sayings you want to say, maybe some facts about yourself, or like if you're a pizza guy, maybe you're like, that's a hot pizza pie, or something silly. I don't know. I'll give you some one-liners, but if you can give me a couple, it would be kind of cool. But yeah, I'm adding people in every couple of episodes to my Kawaii Craft Village. So if you want to be a part of the town, just get to it. Leave your leave your name. You can leave your Minecraft skin and I could actually import your skin into the town, which makes it even cooler. So try that out. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. It lets me know that you want more. Hit subscribe so you know when I post new videos. And if you want to get caught up on Kawaii Craft, I'll leave a link to an awesome playlist down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.